to uh, to get better frame rate, I uh, I changed my AA settings. Uh, let's go over here. Show you what I have. Um, I dropped the AA down one notch. I was I did have it at 4x SSA. I do prefer 4x SSA, but going down to 2x SSA and plus FXA um, has certainly improved performance quite uh, dramatically. So. Um, this should be worth noting. Uh, I have the draw shadows on right now. We'll turn those off later. Um, I also discovered that for some reason using V-Sync seems to smooth things out. Uh, even though I'm not hitting 60 hertz, I'm still around 30 frames a second. But my goal is about 30 frames a second, so we'll take it from there. I'll accept that. Alright, so here's the external view. Um, I may change the time of day because I'm not too fond of this color of sunset. <laughs> so let's go do this changing. Um, oh, apparently uh, you can also change the time of day with the uh, hotkeys. Uh, I don't remember them off the top of my head, but let's just do it manually. There we go. Let's get better. Um, as you can see, let's zoom in a bit here. There's um, this is the default PMDG uh, DC6 um, paint. Uh, I left it the default because it has uh, reflections and they look like they're partially working. The um, problem I see here seems to be a, the same as the default aircraft where the, the updates to the reflective surface, uh, surfaces are delayed. It looks like they're not synced to the same as frame rate. Um, you can see that by moving around quickly. Um, yeah, if you take a look at the fuselage, you, you will see the reflections, but they just seem to, to paint slowly or something. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Maybe it's a perspective issue. Um, not a big deal at all. Um, uh, certainly not a showstopper. So let's go back to the cockpit here. Um, let me just see if my throttles are indeed working correctly. Yeah, looks like they are. Alright. Um, environment X is like it currently turned off. And we'll. Uh, it, ha it had a problem with um, processing uh, shadows. And a friend uh, gave me a tip on uh, if you turn off the environment X uh, post processing, if you turn this off, um, shadows will remain and they will stay. So, um, yeah, if you want shadows, that's that's great. You'll you'll be able to keep them. Um, I'm probably just a bug, and I'm assuming it'll get fixed. Um, the post-processing also tended to cause like a grayish haze inside the VC. Um, so turning that off seems to be the best way to go. Now let's go ahead and uh, enable Enviro. Voila. Okay, so we have our environment to uh, X Enviro enabled now. Um,
wrong button. <laughs> Now what I noticed uh, with environment X is that um, So, if you take a look at the, uh, the props from this angle, they don't look quite right. You look them down at this angle, they look okay. This angle, they don't look quite right. Now, if I turn off environment X, I don't know why this says on. There's no like indication whether it's on or off but I know it's on. So you click on that, you turn off environment X and as you can see the uh, the props look correct. So there's something, some interaction there. Um, I don't know if it's a X Plan 11 issue or environment X issue. Um, but keep in mind again this is all beta so I wouldn't uh, consider this a, a big showstopper and I'm sure it could get fixed. That's, uh, I'm going to turn environment X back on. There we go. Environment X is going to go back on. Should be loading the weather, I hope. Hmm. Yep, there you go. Start to see the clouds slowly come into view. Not sure what weather this is depicting. Um, it doesn't actually look like this currently outside. And soon they're loading real world weather, but uh, not a big deal. Um, it still looks uh, a lot better than uh, the default weather. Um, not sure what that line is about. Um, maybe it's trying to. Interesting. That's a haze layer, but uh, an issue that will need to be resolved, I would imagine. Again, I don't know if this is environment X or not. I guess we can find out by turning environment X off and see if that line goes away. Oh, and yes, it does. So yeah, I mean, there th does appear to be, uh, you know, some issues with environment X. Um, can look great in some situations other situations you know you see a little few anomalies here and there um, hopefully it's something they can work on fix So we have our flaps configured.
frame rate is still right around 30. again. Frame rate's actually still pretty good, it's around 30. Day here. Frame rate's still good, 30. Um, it seems like the magic is to turn down the uh, AA when running at 4K res. Uh, looks like 2X uh, SSA plus FX AA does work. Um, I would like it. It would be nice if they could disable FX AA. Um, I don't particularly like it, but. Uh, there may be a reason why they why they force that combination. She looks pretty good. Uh, it's pretty close to what it would like would look like real world. Um, I like the clouds in the distance. Um, I am getting some stutters. I don't know. Is this is just my uh, track IR causing these? It might be. I don't know. But uh, a little bit of stuttering here and there. OK. 
Okay, now let's see what happens if we change. If we change the graphics a little bit here. Let's go ahead and just crank up texture quality to max. And see. Okay, my texture quality is at max. I didn't really see any difference in frame rate. Uh, still about 30. So let's go to exterior view, see if there's any difference there. No, it's fairly appropriate. I really like that scenery, actually, it looks, uh, it looks a pretty nice sunset. Um, the clouds are, in my opinion, uh, pretty close to the exact right shade of gray. <laughs> uh, the white light seems a bit big, <laughs> but I think I can go ahead and turn that off. These are the landing lights. The landing lights, yeah, I don't know, they seem to expand a bit too much for my liking, but uh, it may, may be accurate. I know, I know aircraft lights, I've seen them hit on before, especially uh, for larger aircraft, and they are extremely bright. So that's that. Alright, so to me, it looks like the texture texture setting can be whatever you want um, well for this particular GPU crank it up to the max all right so now let's see what happens when we uh, when we change uh, HDR okay so I believe I'm one step below the max so let's set it up to the maximum Alright, maximum HDR, and I really haven't seen much of a change. Um, I'm so I'm so impressed with the uh, with the visuals here. It's very very nice. Um, only comment I would say is the clouds are probably a bit too transparent. Uh, I think they need to be just slightly thicker. Um, but uh, beyond that, that, yeah, I think it still looks pretty damn good. I love the sunset. Amazing. Right, let's go back in the uh, cockpit. Let's see what we got going on here. Alright, so now... I am seeing a bit of a frame rate hit here. From what I imagine is the HDR setting is definitely reduced uh, the frame rate and from within the cockpit. So let's go ahead and change that back. It dropped down to like 16, 17. So let's go ahead and put that back up. I should say put that back down to regular HDR. Get done. Yep, sure enough, our our VC frame rate's back up to 30. Which is good. Um, I couldn't really tell a huge visual difference between those HDR settings, but. Um, I'm not at an airport, I'm not on the ground, so may very well be a difference. What I'm trying to do here is see if I can get some sort of volumetric lighting. My flight 
through a cloud. Again, I don't know if this is something that can be done or can't be done. I didn't really see any volumetric lighting through the clouds. Um, maybe I just need a, a lot of fog or something like that to be able to see it. And as you can see here, you get the aircraft light, which will light up the, um, well, whatever's in front of it, um, which I think is a very nice feature. Um, but more importantly, when we fly in over and uh, underneath lights, like we have some dim lighting over here. When you actually fly under the light, the aircraft is lit up, which is what uh, real world lighting does. <laughs> See away from the light, it gets darker. Um, that is a, a particular feature that I really enjoy in X-Plane. Um, I'm not a big fan of the heat haze that comes off of these that, that they do. Um, I realize you know heat haze is something you see in aircraft, but it's usually done from a very specific view angle and um, it's not quite so obvious and you know, in this one it's it's like always heat haze <laughs> and it's huge uh, it would be nice if we could find some way to dial that back um, I don't know if that's an LR thing or if it's something that can be done uh, by our third party or not that much heat haze is just yeah it's just you just don't see that in real world um, you do see heat haze but it's it's like I said from a very specific view angle and it's nowhere near as exaggerated as that See what happens if we try to take off behind this aircraft. We're the 747. We probably should hit quite a bit of weight turbulence. I'm not going to be able to keep up with the 747, but uh, 